Refugees deported by Australia after arriving there by boat have now spent almost three years stuck on a remote island in Papua New Guinea. This torture is like an indefinite torture. Masood Ali, Jalal Hussein and Mohamed Reza spent two years in this prison before, verified as genuine refugees, they were transferred into this transit centre nearby. They can now walk around the nearby town, but they're still stuck on Manus Island. They're not allowed to work and say they are regularly attacked by Papua New Guineans who don't like them on the island. I don't want to say that people are bad, which might risk me again, but it's clear when I tell you, you need to be at any time you are walking around cautious, alarmed, and it's really, it's really scary. There are nearly 2,000 refugees languishing their lives on hold. All men on Manus Island, women and children are stuck too on the equally remote island of Nauru. In theory, they are starting new lives. In practice, there's little sign of that. Their expulsion was designed to send a signal. Don't get on boats hoping to reach Australia. We won't let you stay. Boats full of refugees have stopped coming. This is archive video. They are doing this because it, it, it has worked torturing us so that other people will not come. Other refugees will not come to its border. I don't know what to say about Australia. The costs of holding these refugees, billions of dollars, are paid by Australian taxpayers. Despite allegations of violence, sexual assault and suicide attempts, government workers who look after the detainees are barred from talking about them publicly. It is uh, rife, this secrecy, uh, across the, the entire network. And what we've seen is that that secrecy allows a very, very unhealthy and toxic culture to breed. Hanson Young is one of a small group of Australian politicians who've set up an inquiry for people to give evidence under parliamentary privilege, which is immune from the law. Though the inquiry will run all year, few Australians are likely to pay much attention. An election is due later this year. Both main parties are united on the need for a strong deterrent to refugees. So the fate of people like these isn't likely to feature much. Andrew Thomas, Al Jazeera, Manus Island, Papua New Guinea.